what is going on everybody in this video i'm going to be showing y'all the best solo gta 5 rp glitches these glitches work for all consoles including pc and every version of the game and these glitches have no requirements at all i've personally tested these glitches out multiple times and they have still yet to be patched i've made a lot of rp off of these but yeah i would appreciate it if y'all could just like comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications for me before this video starts i'm going to be having a lot more glitches coming out soon so stay tuned for that but yeah let's get right into it all right now for this first rp method you're going to want to get any car and then you're going to want to go to your map put a waypoint on the prison and then head over there Now once you get here you're just going to want to head through these first two gates and then you're going to want to go through the gate to your right and go to tower number 9, it's this first tower to the right. Alright now once you're here you're just going to want to make your way up to the top of the tower. Alright now once you get to the top you're going to want to run over to this spot on the tower then you're going to want to open up the pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, arena war and then just play the first job. Now once you load into the lobby of the job you can just go ahead and leave. Now as you can see you're going to get 400 RP for losing the cops. Now what you're going to do is just run back over to this spot on the tower. Now right there in that corner you're going to get the cops back and then you can just run back and do the glitch all over again and you'll get 400 RP again. Also if you didn't get 400 RP the first time around just do it again and you should start getting 400 RP every time. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time you do it. Now as you can see I just got another 400 RP there for losing the cops and you can just go back around and keep doing this over and over again as many times as you like and get to whatever level you want. In my opinion this is one of the easiest solo RP glitches in the game right now. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into the next one. Now for this method, you are going to need a vehicle that has infinite rockets like a Terrator or a tank. I recommend the Terrator just because you could drive fast in it and you also have unlimited rockets. But what you're going to want to do is call out your Terrator, then you're going to want to go to jobs, play job, rockstar created, go to missions, and then go to the job repo RV there yet. It's at the bottom. Alright now once you load it in you're going to want to change the difficulty to hard to get the most RP out of this and then you can just go ahead and start up the mission. Now once you load it in you're just going to want to hop into the Terrator and you're going to want to head over towards the Brickade. Once you actually pull up, you're not going to want to pull right up to the brigade. You're going to want to go around back. So as you can see here, I'm pulling up to the back and you're just going to pull up next to this red crate and you're going to hop out the car and jump onto the red crate. Now from here what you're going to do is go hop into the RV and this is going to make all of the NPCs aggro onto you and you can just hop out and run back to your car. Now from here you're gonna hop back into your car and you're just gonna drive over to the airfield. The reason for this is so that all of the NPCs that start spawning in to kill you spawn at the end of the airfield. So as you can see I'm pulling up to the airfield right now and you're actually going to want to kill anybody that's like around back or to the side real quick just so you can be uh, clear real quick and then what you're going to want to do is position yourself right here so that all of the trucks are spawning on that right airstrip so as long as you're positioned right here and kind of looking in that direction all of the trucks will be spawning to the right and you can just keep firing rockets over and over again and you will get 50 rp for each truck you destroy because there's two people in each giving you 25 rp for each person you kill so you're just going to want to sit here for a few minutes and keep destroying the trucks until you see that you're not getting no more rp from them once you see that you're not gaining no more rp like you're going to see in my video right here um, you're just going to want to hop out the Terrator and let them kill you so the mission can end or head over to the RV and destroy it. 
So I'm gonna just head over to this RV so I can shoot a rocket at it and destroy it and then let the mission in. So as you can see here, I got about a thousand RP for doing this method. Now what you can do is spawn back in and whenever you restart the job, you'll spawn much closer so you don't gotta make that long journey back and it makes it very easy to just rinse and repeat this job over and over again. I'm gonna show you that now. So as you guys can see, when I restart the job, I just spawn right back in front of the brigade. So all I gotta do is hop back inside of my car, pull back up to the back of the brigade, hop in the van and make everyone aggro, and then go to the airstrip and start destroying them again. And you'll get a thousand RP over and over and over. But yeah, this is one of the best solo RP methods in the game. It works for all versions. So I think I should all hop on it and try it out. But let's get to the next one. Now for this one, you're going to have to save this playlist in the description. I'm going to have a link in the description for people that are on PS, PC, and Xbox so that you can get this playlist. So what you're going to want to do is go into the description and click on a link that's for your console or PC. And then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is click on the Drowning Sorrows job and just bookmark it to your Rockstar account. And now you can just go ahead and load up the Drowning Sorrows job. Now you can just go ahead and start the job once you load in. Now once you've actually loaded in, all you're going to want to do is pull out your up and atomizer and just keep shooting it towards a corner or you're going to want to get a rubber band or something and pull your sticks in so you can keep moving around in the circle like I'm going to show you now. And basically you're just doing this so you can avoid getting kicked for being AFK while the enemies keep on killing themselves. So what you're going to want to do is just sit AFK for about 20 rounds. I believe it lasts 20 rounds long and at the end of it you will get about 30 to 60k money and you will get 5k RP and you can just rinse and repeat this job. Just keep AFKing for 20 rounds. The people uh, that are spawning in will just keep killing themselves and then it will proceed on to the next round. Yeah but just make sure that you have your thumbsticks uh, in a position where you'll keep running in a circle or you have your right trigger uh, down so you can keep shooting up an atomizer just to avoid being kicked for afk but that is all the methods i have for y'all today as i said before these methods work for every version of the game and all of these methods are still working as of the day this video goes up so y'all should all go out and try them out while they're still working but yeah i appreciate all y'all for watching if y'all could please just leave a like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications i'm going to be posting more rp methods money glitches and clothes glitches gift cards of friend glitches anything y'all need soon so just please like comment subscribe turn on post notifications for me and thank you all for watching goodbye